In this video, I'm going to show you muting items versus mute automation in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you a more efficient way to mute sections of our song for organizing or arranging our project or even during mixing. So, I have a project in front of me here with some drums, bass, guitars, and vocals. And I'm thinking about turning off the guitars for the first half of the verse. Let's hear it now. just to break down the first half of the verse a bit more. So just the drums, bass, and vocals. Now we could do this with mute automation like this. We could select both tracks, right click over here on the envelope button, and choose a touch or right mode. Then we can go into the envelopes and make sure we arm the mute envelope for each, right here. So now we see our envelopes for a mute right below the track. So now to mute our guitars in this section, we can just do it with the mute buttons. And I'm gonna do them at different times to start and then unmute them together at the end, like this. And just like that, we muted the automation for the guitars. And it'll play back exactly what we did. And we'll see it on the mute buttons. But there is a negative to doing it this way. If we keep it in touch mode, if I mute my tracks, it's going to write mute automation there. So you don't want to do that. We could put it in read mode so you can see the muting over here. I go to bed early. But in read mode, now we can't mute our tracks manually. It doesn't let us. It'll only show us or play back the mute automation. Although, we can switch it back to trim read, and now we can mute our tracks. But we're not going to see the muting that we automated show up on the tracks. It's just going to happen, and we won't hear our guitars. So if I hide the envelopes, we're not going to hear the guitars over here, but there's no visual indication that they're muted. So I don't prefer to use mute automation for arranging parts or even during mixing, as it's not as flexible as this next method I want to show you, muting the items on the track instead. So let's delete these envelopes, and let's do it a different way, by splitting and muting the items on the track. If we go to guitar one, I want to turn it off right at the verse. So I put my mouse right here, type S, and that splits the item. And we can see it fades out and fades in over here. We could adjust it by holding down the shift key, but it's more flexible than a mute, as we could fade in and fade out our items. So let's mute the second guitar right over here. Hit the S key to split it, and let's go to the section to bring the guitars back in. 
right over here. We'll split it again right here, type S. And now all we have to do is mute these items. We could drag to select them both. We could right click and go to item settings and mute it here. Or if you do what I do, have a mute button always on the items, which you could turn on in the preferences. Control P on the PC, Command Comma on the Mac, go under Appearance and Media, and turn on Not Muted as a button. It's off by default, but if we turn it on, you always have a mute button right here. So with these two items selected, I can just hit this button, and now the items are muted. So they're not going to play. But now we could tweak how they fade in and out so they sound the best. Like for example, the second guitar plays a long note so I could fade it out right from here or when the vocal comes in. Grab it and fade it from here. Right click to change the type of fade we want. Maybe I want this one. And now the guitar is going to fade out as the vocal comes in. Creating a more gradual effect as the guitar fades out as the vocal comes in, which we can't do with mute automation. But also, and more importantly, we still have full control of muting our tracks. So as we're mixing or arranging our project, we can still mute these tracks and we're not going to hear them. We'll go back to our arrangement by unmuting them and still having each item that we muted muted. And of course, we could try it both ways by unmuting the items. We'll put it back that easily. And again, we can still mute our tracks right from here, completely separate, giving us flexibility as we can mute our items by splitting them first and muting them and fade them in and out. We're just doing it directly on the track, giving us better visual indication of what's going on. So that's pretty much it. That's muting items versus mute automation in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.